my name is Claire Bowes and I run Oma Music Academy. I lost my sight when I was 15 in the Baum in Oma and I was always passionate about music and always had this dream where I could offer a variety of lessons all under one roof and have somewhere where people could come and learn and share their love of music. We have over 90 students coming weekly for one-to-one -one lessons. Um, singing, piano, drums, guitar and then we have about um, 10 to 15 children registered for our kinder music program which is for children from 0 to 6. When I lost my sight I was determined that I wasn't going to let that ruin my life. We all meet challenges. I know when I was setting up my business my, one of my main concerns was where are we going to get students from? Are we going to be taken seriously? Um, is it going to work? Um, but I do think it was a bonus that I used to be able to see and I read music before I lost my sight. Now that I have been doing it for a while I've realised that it isn't really an issue um, because any of my students that have done their exams have done well, they've got at least a merit. All the things that are so important and are quite visual, um, I just have to make sure I verbalise those to the student um, so that they become aware of those. But we manage and we get round it. And I'm lucky too that I have a great network of tutors around me, so if there is something that the student and I get a bit stuck at, I can always pop into one of the other tutors and run it by them. In terms of running a business, I had no, no experience whatsoever. Um, and I hadn't even studied business studies at school, so I really wasn't sure of where to start. So I contacted um, my local enterprise company, and the support they offered was fantastic. I completed the Exploring Enterprise programme and they helped me write my business plan, um, think about marketing, finances and kind of made it all more real. They're still available now so if I do have a query I know I can just contact them and ask them for their advice and their support which is fantastic. I'm the one that sort of makes a lot of the decisions and tries to develop the business and come up with ideas of how we can um, develop the business further. But I also do a lot of teaching, so I am very busy, but I enjoy the variety. Most of, of our work is in the evenings because most of our students are, are school age. And it's hard sometimes when you have young children being out of the house in the evenings, but I get the balance there with them being off over the summer holidays and two weeks at Christmas. A lot of our holidays are similar to the school holidays. And it is busy and it's a lot of hard work, but it's so worth it that it makes it all worthwhile. I have had support from Access to Work, which helped me get a lot of the equipment that I need to be able to do my job. I need to use voiceover software on my computer as I can't see what's on the screen and um, the software can be quite expensive so access to work we able to help meet costs like that and to provide a support worker to help me with the more visual aspects of my job. I suppose my advice to anybody would be that if you really want to do it you can make it work. I have a good network of support around you, people that believe in you and will help you through and support you in your decisions. Definitely access the support that's available. Um, contact your local enterprise agency um, and then believe in yourself um, because if you, you need to believe in yourself um, for your business to work.